much fun here. <laughs> We've had a blast. Um, you know, we haven't got to experience as much as we'd like to, but we're definitely going to make the time to go see some cool sights and it's a beautiful city. And I mean, the fans out here are always so amazing and so supportive and always been around through everything, whether it's online or when we're here at the hotels. And they're just always there and always have a smile on their face. And when it comes to the show, they're always so loud and have a blast. And that makes us have just as much fun. So we love being here. Well, we are so excited about our new record. You know, we named it Paramore because it's a real statement, I think, of uh, who we want people to see Paramore as. Most artists named their record, you know, self-titled the first CD to kind of introduce themselves. So it's almost kind of a reintroduction uh, of our band. And, you know, it's a it, it's definitely been an evolution for us musically, and you know, it's much more of an eclectic album and. Uh, we still have a lot of rock songs, but we have poppier songs, funky songs, and we were just, we allowed ourselves to pull from all of our influences uh, much more, and, um, and we weren't afraid to try things, so um, we're, we're just very excited for people to come and see us in this new chapter. It's just us. Um, this is who we are, you know? I mean, we're still kind of figuring it out always, but um, it really just feels like the band we were always meant to be is on this album. And we tried really hard just to, you know, we worked our butts off to, to make it happen. And it feels right now. It feels like listening to us. It's not just, it's not even just the band Paramore. It's literally the, the three of us, the people that we are. It's, it's all like laid out. Um, exciting. It's definitely a new feeling. Um, there wasn't really a theme, I don't think. I mean, other than just, we wanted to have fun. We wanted to make an album together, the three of us. It was a very new experience, and, you know, like Taylor said, we had to be really open-minded to all of it, and let ourselves try new things, and let each other try new things, and um, you know, I think that's it's a huge compliment to hear people um, referring to No Doubt Tragic Kingdom era because I think that's like just it was such a good time for their band and I think you hear so much personality in that music and that was the key you know with this album we just wanted our personalities to show through and I think we did it I think you hear Taylor I think you hear Jeremy and you hear me exactly who we are right now today and that's exciting I mean I don't feel like we've been able to capture that. Um, there is a, um, there's an artist called Banksy that has, he's like a street artist, he does a lot of, um, I mean, he, he just does really cool art with great message behind it, and there's this image that Daniel Cloud, our director, sent us in the beginning of a guy throwing a Molotov cocktail of a bouquet of flowers, and the message is really just to fight with love, and that love really wins in the end, always. That was the message behind now, uh, and it, it's so cool that the he Daniel, our director, took the video there because I think the song um, that there's there's so much hope in the lyrics, and we really needed to to show people that to, to get the full message across. So it's exciting to have the video out and see our fans discussing what it means to them and and how it applies to their life, and um, it's just been a real thread of like hope and forgiveness and. Um, just uh, love, really, and, and that message, and we're excited about it because it's something that everyone should be able to stand for, and we most certainly do. Um, we, we took a lot of meetings with a lot of different producers, and we, we honestly didn't know exactly what we wanted for this album, and I think, you know, a lot of times you just kind of have to go off of a feeling and a connection that you make with someone. And um, so, you know, last minute before we met with everyone, our, our the president, uh, president of Atlanta, Craig Kalman, told us about uh, Justin. And he said, you guys really should take a meeting with him. And um, instantly, there was just, an, we had a special connection that we didn't have with anyone else. And 
you know, he really understood us and understood, um, or I guess had his own, you know, vision and take of the direction we were going. And, um, so it just made sense, you know. I think we were really surprised as someone that had worked with Nine Inch Nails and Beck and M83, and we were surprised that they would want to work with us, but it was such an honor and, and um, I don't know, it just, it, we couldn't have made it with anyone else. So. There was a couple of songs we were working on that Justin was like, oh man, this feels like Nine Inch Nails. And I don't, I mean, I don't listen to Paramore ever and really think Nine Inch Nails. Uh, but I think, you know, like I said before, we were really open to all sorts of influences. We like so much different kind of music, heavy music, pop music, R&B, whatever, you know, we like all of it. So there's definitely a couple songs on there that do have uh, influence from, you know, more industrial sort of um, heavier sounds and, and that was really fun for us because it's we're big fans of that style of music that genre and it was it was fun to, sh to be able to just show ourselves that we could do it mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think we just, you know we're really just taking it a day at a time you know and i think like any artist we want to we would love to grow we love to play bigger shows and we want to reach more people and but I think really it's just we want to connect with people and um, well, we just hope that, you know, Haley said the other night on the stage, you know, or she, we were talking before the show and she was just saying, I just hope that people get whatever they need to get from our music. So whether that's hope or whether that's, whether they just, I don't know, want to enjoy our music and sing along or whether it helps them with the situation they're going through, like, I just, I think that's our goal is to connect with people. Otherwise, it's kind of meaningless. So, I don't know, just to see how long we can do that. Maybe. Depends on the band. <laughs>